and you're watching the History Fellow Channel. In today's video, we're looking at Wing Commander Guy Gibson. Guy Gibson was born in Simla, India, of English parents, but moved to England with his mother when he was six. He was educated in Cornwall, Kent, and finally in Oxford, where he attended the same school, St. Edward's, as Douglas Bader. At first rejected from the RAF for his relative lack of height, Gibson was subsequently accepted in 1936. On the 5th of September 1939, he took part in the first air attack on Germany of the Second World War, on warships at the mouth of the Kiel Canal, but the raid was abandoned due to bad weather. Thereafter, he took part in many operations, mainly mine laying at first, and from April 1940 against German forces invading Norway and Denmark, and in May and June in France and Belgium to support the retreat in Allied armies. In the summer his squadron made sustained attacks on troop barges, being assembled as a precursor to invasion in occupied ports across the Channel. In July 1940 he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for gallantry and devotion to duty, and by September had flown 37 raids. Promoted to Flight Lieutenant, Gibson transferred to Fl Fighter Command, developing equipment and techniques for intercepting German night bombing raids. Initially it was fr a frustrating business, but he eventually shot down four German bombers. He was promoted to squadron leader in July 1941 and awarded a bar to his DFC in September of the same year. In April 1942, shortly after the appointment of Arthur Harris as commanding officer of Bo Bomber Command, Gibson was promoted to wing commander and given charge of 106 Squadron, overseeing its transition to the nuclear Lancaster bombers. At this time, the British government began the area bombing policy, and Gibson's squadron hit multiple targets in France, Germany and Italy, including docks, factories, rail yards, ships and towns. In November, Gibson was awarded the Distinguished Service Order and a bar in April of 1944. Gibson next commanded 617 Squadron, from March 1943 and quickly went into a specialist training for a daring low-level raid, Operation Chastise, against six vital dams on reservoirs in the German industrial heartland, the Ruhr. Canister-shaped bouncing bombs named Upkeep, designed by Barnes Wallace, were dropped from 60 feet above the water, which called for great piloting skill and precise bombing aim, bomb aiming. Strategically and tactically, the raid was a partial success and a brilliant technical and operational achievement. Of the six dams, the Moan and the Eda were badly damaged, enough to cause temporary economic and industrial disruption. Flooding of coal mines, loss of hydroelectric power, and the diversion of vital resources for the dam's repair. The cost was eight Lancaster aircraft, the lives of 53 aircrew, which was 40% of the total, and about 1,600 civilians, about two thirds of whom were French, Belgian, Polish, and Soviet prisoners of war or forced labourers, many of them women. However, the success of the raid also lay in its huge propaganda value and the boost it gave to Allied morale. Gibson was awarded the Victoria Cross and hailed by Winston Churchill as the Dam Buster and one of the most splendid of fighting men. 
after after Operation Chastise, Gibson was too high profile to risk on bombing operations. However, his celebrity was such that he accompanied Winston Churchill to North America and undertook a lecture tour. On returning to England in December 1943, a political career was in prospect, and in March 1944 he was selected as Conservative parliamentary candidate for Macclesfield. However, politics was not for Gibson. He itched for a return to action. He returned to service and supposedly in a staff role position in Bomber Command. He persuaded Air Vice Marshal Arthur Harris to allow him to fly operationally. After a successful raid on a soft target on the German towns of Ride and Munchengladbach, on the night of the 19th and 20th of September in 1944, Gibson crashed his plane in the Netherlands. The circumstances of the crash are not known, but he was flying a de Havilland Mosquito, an aircraft he was not familiar with, with John Jim Warwick, a navigator he didn't know, and both men died. By some accounts, Gibson was always eager to fly on operation, trying to prove himself. His conduct sometimes verged on the arrogant, attracting nicknames such as the Bumptious Bastard and the Boy Emperor. But by others, he was said to be hard-working, efficient, straightforward and sociable. Gibson's significance lies in his deeds. He was a brave and skilled pilot and a man of action who flew in at least 174 missions against the enemy. A phenomenal record which is marked by the awards for bravery, including the highest one, the VC. In 1943, as one of the most experienced bomber officers in the RAF, it was an obvious choice to lead Operation Chastise. A, a similar impossible mission to drop ex experimental bombs whilst flying a heavy Lancaster at treetop height. In his endeavour, 106 Squadron's achievement is astonishing. In the early part of 1943, Gibson wrote his account of Operation Chastise as Enemy Coast Ahead, published posthumously in 1946. The legendary status of the raid and his role in it achieved a further boost following the 1955 film Dam Busters, directed by Richard Anderson and star starring Richard Todd, and its iconic scene tune composed by Eric Coates. <laughs> 